a lot of you talk about sending your kids to a Montessori school. But how many of you know who Maria Montessori really was? In the 1800s, she pursued medicine at a time when women were expected to marry and raise children. Against all odds, she became the first female doctor at her university, specializing in psychiatry and pediatrics. Maria Montessori wasn't just a physician, she was a revolutionary thinker. While studying medicine, she volunteered at a psychiatric clinic where she realized children in barren, unfurnished rooms were desperate for stimulation. She argued that their struggles weren't their fault. It was a lack of meaningful experiences. The realization shifted her path from physician to educator. Her journey eventually brought her to India in 1939, where she planned a short visit, but ended up staying for a long time because of World War II. During this time, the British government placed her under house arrest, labeling her as enemy aliens because she was Italian and the Brits were in war with Italy. And in those difficult circumstances, Montessori became quite popular in India. She trained over 1,500 teachers and wrote The Absorbent Mind, which became one of her most influential work. But you know what stands out for me the most? Montessori spent years observing children, understanding how they think, creating tools to help them thrive. It wasn't easy and it wasn't quick. Her work reminds us of something vital. If we want to guide children, we have to pay close attention to how they think and feel. It takes effort, it takes time, and it shapes everything about who they become.